grinding for cheats to the perfect plane, and you were ready to kick ass, but you don't. Smile, you lose every fight with other planes, and every player laughs as your wings fall the second you get off the ground. You might say, this plane sucks, he's a proper buff, or something on those lines. Do you think you'll never win with that plane? Or maybe you're just using it wrong. Follow this boy, and welcome to my generic plane review, where I go through almost every plane from my dirty, sweaty hands on. The plane we're looking at today is a star plane from the Japanese tree, the Ki-10 slash I. Let us get the show on the road, shall we? Before we get into some stats and such, let us get into some history. Around the mid-1930s, the Japanese engineer Takio Doi was asked to make a new biplane in response to the requirements issued by the Imperial Japanese Army, in which he won a competition against the other design, the Ki-11. Even though the Ki-11 was more advanced compared to the Ki-10, the Army preferred a more maneuverable biplane offered by Kawasaki. To overcome the speed disadvantage, the Kawasaki used a metal three-blade propeller in the third prototype. It was deployed in initial campaigns of the Second Sino-Japanese War in northern China. It proved to be an excellent dogfighter against the Chinese Air Force. However, by the time of the Nanoham incident in 1939 against the forces of the Soviet Union, it was largely obsolete. At the start of the Pacific War, it was used as a trainer until 1942. None were exported, but plenty were made. Like always, let us go into some real life stats. Crew 1. Length 7.2 meters. Wingspan 10.02 meters. Its height is 3 meters. Its ring error is 23 meters squared. Its power plant was time, times 1 HA 9 I11A. Producing over 634 kilowatts. For its armament, it adds times two fixed four and 7.7 .7 Type 89 machine guns. I feel like it's time to give some in-game stats from the official wiki. At stock, its max speed was 374 kilometers per hour, at a height of 4,000 meters. Its max altitude is 8,100 meters. Its turn time is 17. 2 seconds. Its rate of climb is 10.6 meters per second. Its stick of time is 232 meters. However, upgraded, its max speed is 402 km per hour at a height of 4,000 meters. At the same max altitude, its turn time is 16.0 seconds and rate of climb is 15.7 meters per second. Now that's out of the way, let's find some points and cons, shall we? Pros, good maneuverability, low stall speed, fast top speed, for biplane of course, great climb rate, and great roll rate, cons, weak armor, poor, di poor diving ability, poor spin characteristics, poor high alt performance, abysmal armament, wings are terribly weak. Let's go into uh, some tactics that you can use. However, this is my opinion, and you can do whatever floats your boat. Here are two things I can think of. Tactic 1. Always aim for wings over opponents. A wing will simply fall off after you have unloaded 500 rounds into it. If you're lucky, you can get away with a wing kill after a 5 to 8 second burst. Pilot shots are viable as well, but require a significant uh, discipline and uh, skill. Remember the Type A9 also tends to overheat quickly, but it's slower than it should can. Always use Stealth Belt. Its efficiency is superior to any Tracer equipped belts. Tactic 2. Stay low and be aware of your enemy. Try using your guns to get you on ground targets. If you get into combat, always make sure you are ahead of the enemy plane. Okay, it's time for me to get my final verdict on this plane. I feel like this plane has very similar problems to the Nimrod Mark 1 and 2, is that both are really, really maneuverable, but are very weak in comparison. Yes, the Key 10 can outmaneuver planes, and it's pretty fast, not like the Nimrod, but it has similar gun problems, where the guns don't do much damage or they can overheat much. This plane can barely handle realistic, and it struggles to keep up in an arcade, even though it's meant to be played in that mode. 
it's kind of put me off from the Japanese tree for so long because of this. However, at least some of it's slack since it's only a star plane, as you aren't paying for this plane. However, I think it beats Nimrod for the worst plane, since Nimrod can actually take so what off a punch. I think that's a wrap. Hopefully you learned something today, and I hope you have fun online and offline. Until next time.